Hello everyone! It's been a while since I actually did one of these videos where I sat down and read some comments and talked and things like that. So today what we're gonna do is we're going to read some Twitter tweet, twit, some tweets. I guess you could just call them tweets. I guess the, the Twitter part is redundant. Anyway, we're gonna do that. So if you're not already following me on Twitter, you should probably be doing that. The link is twitter.com slash matcha. There'll be a link down in the description, yada yada yada. Let's get started. Hey Matt, what's your favorite game slash type of game? I don't really have a favorite game. I've mentioned this before. I uh, I have a lot of games that I really enjoy. Uh, my first game that I really really enjoyed as a kid was probably the original Super Mario, the the, the original Mario. What's what's that called? Mario. I don't know. <laughs> I like that one. And I also like Yoshi's Island. That was the first game that I ever owned. So I have a very special place in my heart for that game. Other than that, whenever someone asks me what my favorite game is. Hotline Miami always pops into my head. It has an amazing soundtrack, really fun gameplay, and it's really fluid, and it's really great if you like speedrunning, so it really fits in with me. And actually, that poster right there, you can see that right there? I'm not going to bother messing with the camera to show you, but you can see a DeLorean, and up above it, it says Hotline Miami, and it's got some people killing some other people, because I'm that awesome. And also, you can see that there's a human organ box. People have always asked me about that, especially in the 100K video. That is from Surgeon Simulator. They sent me a care package once upon a time. And above it, there's an Octodad, because that's another game that I really love. I got him the other day. I'm going to show you. God damn it. He's actually uh, made of magnets, so he can like hang on to a refrigerator. He's so cute. I could, I could not buy him. I was like, I don't have very many video game related things, so it's time for me to start my collection, okay, if I'm going to be a YouTuber. So, uh, yeah. Shit. Hey Matt, where do you hide the bodies of your enemies? Usually what I do is the, I go the Breaking Bad route, obviously. You know, you take them, you put them in a tub of hydrofluoric acid, and you dissolve them. And then you put it out with your trash or dump it in a river or something along those lines. It seems like a pretty, pretty easy way to do it. Or you could, like, you know, put it in your basement and just hang out with it whenever you want. That seems like a pretty degrading thing to do to someone who just died. And if it's your enemy, perfect. Hey Matt, what's PewDiePie like as a dad? PewDiePie is a wonderful dad. All he ever does is uh, give me compliments. He's super nice to me all the time. I couldn't ask for a better father, guys. Never. Hey Matt, could you play some Mirror's Edge on PC or do you have it on PlayStation as well? I have it on PC. I made one video on it. It's a great game, but it's pretty irrelevant these days. Nobody really cares about Mirror's Edge. But when Mirror's Edge 2 comes out, I'll be playing that. I have no idea when it's coming out, but uh, it's probably going to be really good. Hey Matt, if you have a cold pot pocket, is it just a pocket? I have no idea what this means. I've never heard of something, a, a pot, pot, oh, this is supposed to say hot pocket. Well, since you screwed that up, we're just going to ignore the question. Hey Matt, how your butt be so big? Um, I actually got implants in my butt. You know how you get like boob implants? You can actually get butt implants as well. It's a thing. Um, yeah, so I, uh, I have those. It's really soft. Like when you sit down, it's just like you're sitting on a cloud, a cloud of silicone. And all the boys want to grab it, so that's a that's a plus as well. Does it feel awesome that you can make people smile and laugh without even knowing them, making a huge impact on them? It's honestly pretty hard to imagine that I make a big impact on people. And I know I do because people tell me that I make a big impact on them, but it's it's kind of weird because, you know, I'm just a regular dude just like you, unless you're unless you're not a dude. Um, in that case, I'm just a regular woman just like you. But yeah, it's 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 really weird, guys, that I can actually you know make you guys happy, make you smile, make you laugh. But it's it's honestly one of the best feelings ever, and that's why I'm so happy that in the next year, at least for another year, I'm gonna be able to do YouTube full time. I didn't get into medical school, but I'm not super bummed about it. I just got my uh, got my results back yesterday, or my letter of not acceptance. I don't know if you call it rejection, but anyway, I didn't get into medical school, but that means that I can take the next year and a half or so and just make videos for you guys and uh, and try and get the channel as far as we possibly can. I think it's going to be like one of the best years of my life. So uh, prepare for that. It's going to be lots of videos once I'm done school and uh, and the channel hopefully is going to go way up in uh, in all areas. So thank you guys for sticking with me so far and uh, get ready. Get ready. Hey Matt, why do you like making videos most of all? I think the main reason guys that I like making videos is uh, I like making people laugh, I like making people smile, I like, you know, bringing happiness to people. I've always been the kind of person who likes to make jokes, you know, I love being laughed at or with or whatever you want to call it. Sure, laugh at me. If you're having fun, what's the problem there, right? But I think the main thing, guys, that keeps me coming back to this channel is the fact that there are so many supportive people here 
who watch my videos, who comment on my videos, who tell me that they love watching my videos. It is a great feeling. Thank you all so much for that. Hey Matt, how come you don't like multiplayer games? That one is a complicated question. I, I love some multiplayer games. I love playing Chivalry. I love Fistful of Frags. Uh, there's other games I like playing as well. But uh, the thing is, on my channel, the reason I don't play them as much is because I don't find multiplayer games to be as enjoyable to watch. When I watch back the video, it's hard to edit because I don't find it to be as enjoyable. So uh, I don't tend to put them up. And usually they don't actually do as good. So um, that's also one of the reasons, because I think what you're asking basically is why don't I play them more. And that's the reason, I just don't find them, find them to be as enjoyable for videos. Hey Matt, I like you, do you want to go on a date? If you're paying, sure. Hey Matt, so yesterday we got a shit ton of snow in New Brunswick. How's the snow where you are? 10 feet tall? 10 centimeters? Um, let me check. There's a lot of snow. Honestly, we've gotten, um, we had a really big snowfall recently. And my driveway got super like snowed in, but uh, I shoveled it out, and it, then it rained. I think so; it's not as bad. But uh, I hate snow. Just gonna throw that out there right now. When it snows, I get I get a bunch of snow on my driveway, and then I gotta shovel all out, and then the plow comes back out the road. He's like, "Hey, motherfucker, have some more snow." So uh, yeah, it's not uh, it's not for me. I'd rather if we just had summer all year round. I'm gonna move to like Florida or something, but not really, because I can't do that because like immigration laws and stuff yeah hey Matt how is school going we'll be doing YouTube as a full-time thing or continuing studying for a medical career that'd be cool as I just said a little while ago um, I didn't get into medical school I can reapply next year and I may or may not depending on how the channel is doing I may want to devote more time to this I mean if I can make a living off this which I already can do I will because I have a lot of fun and it's really rewarding and uh, maybe in the future when YouTube is not really an option for me anymore I may try and go back to medical school then. I'm not really sure. I'm just going to take it one step at a time. We'll see what happens, okay? If you write a book about failure and it doesn't sell, is it called a success? Well, I'm actually going to give you a serious answer for this. If you're writing a book about failure, then you're writing a book about failure. You're not writing a book that says it's going to fail. You're not writing a book that says this book is going to fail. And if the subject happens to happen to the book, that doesn't make it a success. That's like saying, I wrote a book about murder. And then I got murdered. So the book is a success? Hey Matt, what does the fox say? Hey Matt, how many hours does it take to record and edit a video? Actually, YouTube takes a lot longer than you may think. Um, usually I record, let's say I'm recording Besiege. Usually I record Besiege for about an hour to an hour and a half it really depends because it's hard to get footage sometimes and uh, I end up having to cut a lot of stuff out so I can make it shorter so if, if I do a video like besiege it usually takes an hour and uh, 15 minutes let's say to record and then it may take 30 minutes to 45 minutes to actually edit it because I cut a lot of things out right away that I don't even need to go through but I actually watch through everything I, I do uh, everything I say in the video and then I cut it at the points where I want to go to the next part and then I just cut it the parts in between it's really easy to do, but it is pretty time consuming. Once that's done, let's say we got two hours put into it. We got to render the video, which I can do something else while I do, so it's not a big deal. But I also had to make a thumbnail. Got to get a, like a nice picture from the from the video and put it there and put the logo on. If I've already made the logo already and uh, made the thumbnail, I have a template for it. I can just go ahead and put a picture in there. That doesn't take very long, but then I have to actually go in there. You got to make a nice title for the video. You got to add a description to the video. You got to put tags in the video. You gotta tweet the video, you gotta put the video on your Facebook page, even though I always forget to do that. By the way, like my Facebook page. And that's that's basically it. That is that is how long it takes to make a video. Two to three hours. Hey Matt, would you rather have Cheetos dust permanently stuck on your fingers or be sexually attracted to fruit? Well, one of those is a bad thing, and one of those is a good thing. I mean, having Cheetos dust on your fingers all the time would be really annoying, but uh, I'm sure I'd be able to contain my sexual urges if I'm eating an apple. And if I want to bang that apple later, I can do that. Nobody's going to judge me. It's a good time. Hey, Matt, if you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Uh, that's really hard. That's a hard question because I really don't know what uh, my superpower would be. I think I'd really like to fly. But honestly, if I had to pick any superpower, assuming we're not going with really OP superpowers like being Superman, because that, that motherfucker flew around the Earth a bunch of times in reverse time. I don't know how that happened, but he did it, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh... 
Yeah, I think I would like to be invisible. Not because I want to peep on people in the shower or something, because I could just, you know, look up naked people on the internet. But because you could do anything if you're invisible. You could stop crime. You could uh, you could rob a bank if you're a terrible person. Like, you can get away with anything when you're invisible. Nobody knows you're there. Will there ever be Wizard hats on sale? Because I want one. Well, actually, this uh, particular person who tweeted, they actually got a Wizard hat since then. So, uh, I don't know if this question really applies anymore. But, uh... No, I don't think there'll be wizard hats on sale because they can't just mass produce those. Uh, if you want to buy one yourself, you can just look them up on Amazon. I think they're currently like eleven dollars. Um, I can post a link if you guys want it. You could send me pictures. You could tweet me pictures of you wearing a wizard hat. That would be really cool. So you should probably buy one. It's a good investment. Look at this thing. It's amazing, right? Huh? Okay, guys. So that is all the tweets that I have to answer today. But I just wanted to show you a couple other things. Uh, for Valentine's Day, I actually got this little sword. It's a letter opener. So that I can open your letters easier. Yeah, look at that. This is what Ashley gave me along with a couple other things. And I also actually got some letters recently. I uh, I got this letter right here from uh, Frank. Frank says in his letter a bunch of stuff. Actually, he's got a, got a bunch of stuff drawn here. Hold on a second. Making lots of noise. This actually says hashtag hey Matt on it. Hey Matt, congrats on uh, 75. And then he crossed it out and put 76 there. 1,000 subs. I think I, I got this at the... The post office last week and we're now up to 117,000 so that's pretty awesome um he writes down a bunch of games and he drew some logos here for the games as well they got a sims logo and things like that and on the back he wrote a bunch of stuff hey matt i've been watching your channel for a few months and in just a few months you became my favorite youtuber i check your channel every day never stop making videos thank you so much frankie show and he also said he may uh he may send me more mail later which is really awesome so yeah, I really appreciate being your favorite YouTuber, and I hope you stick around for a long time. We also have another letter here. I don't know who it's from. They didn't put their address on the envelope or a name or anything. But it says, never skip leg day, and there's a beautiful picture of me. Absolutely beautiful. And on the back, there's a little tab here. I haven't actually opened it yet. Hello, Matt. Please, if you can, will you show this on a video? Thank you. Also, say hello to your bae for me. La 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 la. P.S. Don't pull this tab or you will find something horrible. Oh, and there's a cat here. It says, uh, this cat right there. And I'm going to open the tab because, uh, I want horrible things. Okay. There we go. Oh, okay. All right. Here's what it says. Something horrible. I don't know if you can read that because my camera is focused on my face right now. But it actually just says the, uh, the two words, something horrible. So there you go, guys. That is the, uh, the mail that I've gotten. Those are some questions that you asked me. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And also, make sure you follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page and uh, and join the subreddit. If you're a Redditor, that's probably a good idea. I'm going to try and get the subreddit a bit more active. And uh, I really like it. It's a great place where you guys can post whatever the hell you want. Post pictures of me. Make fun of me. Who knows? Whatever you want to do. So thank you very much for watching this video. And I will see you next time. Goodbye. Man, you look good today, Matt. Mmm. Mmm, damn bro. You're looking pretty fine. Oh, stop it, Matt. Stop it.